creating top-down assemblies so when we create a top-down assembly we create everything within the assembly file this means we draw the parts and we model those parts so we sketch the parts and then we model them all in the assembly file so we're going to create the components in the assembly module to do that we're going to come up to the assembly tab we're going to go to the component panel and we're going to go to create we click on create and in create we have the part name so i might call it uh, something other than part one but we'll have it things like you know uh, bearing raceway we choose the template so over here we choose whether we want a standard ipt uh, which is going to be our part file uh, so we're going to choose that we could also browse the templates or we could go out and say if i wanted a metric i can go out and do a standard mpt okay so we can choose whatever template we want there we have our new file location so in these file locations here um, i can say no i don't want it to be there i i need it to be in this particular folder okay and so i can say all right in the file name uh, I can have whatever file name I want here and I can edit that and I can say save and so uh, I have whatever file I want I have whatever template I want I have its location on the network or computer in its folder and then I have the default BOM uh, uh, structure and the default BOM is the bill of materials so when I click on this you can see I have uh, a variety of choices uh, and we'll cover this in some of my next uh, playlist of assembly videos uh, I also have a checkbox for virtual component and this is used for the purposes of adding a row to our bill of materials okay so once I hit OK now it says select a sketch plane uh, for our base features so i can come over here and i can pick whichever plane i want uh, to be on my base uh, my base so i pick a plane and now it kicks me into my sketch mode i can come over here and start my 2d sketch so essentially i can come in here and pick on a mode and just start sketching any particular type of thing uh, for example i'm making my part right now and i might say it's a and i might just throw a circle somewhere in here and so now i'm done finishing my sketch i can come over here and let's say extrude it and I come over here and say oh we only need two and I'll say okay and so I'm building my parts now in my assembly model and so when I do a top-down assembly I have to go up and choose the create button in the assembly under components and start building my parts and then later on then then I can actually start assembling them but I have to build all of my parts within a top-down assembly so uh, let's go and uh, our next video we'll talk about bottom-up assemblies this is a top-down assembly